Hello YouTube fans, here again and a big art with the Honor Marathon ran up Trumpy in 1983 with this Honor Tacit being, if I remember rightly, Stouts. I remember a few in Stouts before and I think of what the fuck it's going with the 80s Honor Marathon, why not? Stouts. Again, sorry, 1983. This was actually like um, a vicious film. And they did do a good shot of the desert in this. That reminds me a bit of the movie The Hills of Eyes. They shoot a lot in the desert and to do with these people who are like arthritis. You know, they're looking for gold and diamonds and little tin kicks and they're like students. So it starts off with this professor and he's rapping on about these slung students who go in there. Before all that, it starts a good opening where this guy's also looking for gold and diamonds and emeralds and all this shit. But his mistake is he goes to part of the desert, but it's about his injury and burial downed. Say it again. Injury and burial downed. And because of that, his evil injury and spirit comes out and tells him to slit his throat and kill himself. So before all that, you get the students, as I say, after all that, you get the students, you go to a bar, they meet this old injury, who basically warns them not to go near the place, go backwards, like Bakshi or something like that. But the students are fucking dad or the fick, and they ignore him. There's a bit you've got an ego and it's fine about and fine home. I do love a bit of the music there, it's like cheapy, a cheapy atmosphere. And you could say it has similarities to one of the few weeks and weeks ago, being the evil dead. Because it does have a similarity. Cause... And I do know originally there's a lot of cut scenes. But the version I've got is the edited versions. The only thing is they put back the cut scenes. And what they did is they spiced it from an old word out VHS. So you could always tell which bits were cut out. But it's always like that, because it reminds me, reminds me of our, my bloody father time, and all they had cut scenes and they spiced in with an old American video to set. But I don't like that, because like I say, it's sort of like an old stew feel to it. I do know one of the outsides is, there's a scene where a lad's possessed and he rapes his girlfriend. He didn't hear things, as a lad he gets possessed and he rapes his girlfriend. I do know that was definitely cut, as well as the scene where she gets scalped, which then assumes up the name. Uh, but the version I've got is the uncut one, not like I'm boasting there, but it sold all the violence, all the door and all that, added back in, a date of doors, done on video. Um, so, what I, all it's all about is, there is one not to go to this place, go back to, because they're thick, they ignore him, they dig up gold, and this one do has a change of heart. She believes in all this, and it could be bad luck, and she's warning her mates, they're all fit, they go the fuck off. Oh, I don't put that in words, but they might as well do. And they dig for the gold and the emeralds. Long behold, it's the night after, and there's, you know, it's got a bowl of blood, I don't know where it's coming from. One lad's fucking about, he's the one that gets possessed, the same I just said, he rapes his death, and that happens in the film, and if that ain't bad enough, he stouts her as well as slits her throat. So it doesn't look fuck about on the bloody door on the uncut one that is. So like I say, you've got one in it. Again, this one dude's having a weird nightmare. I mean, there's a bit of shitty makeup effect where this guy's got a lion's face. You can see it's a, a mask doing this. It looks fake as fuck. There's a good bit in it where this dude sees one of the Indian spirits. Again, a little bit done on the cheek, but he's finding his arrows. You can see he's got fake arrows as he's holding them in the back. She falls down. I think rightly thinks she gets stout. Then the sofa dies in the tuck. An evil Indian spirit comes out of nowhere on the uncut one, swats him on the head, kills him. And then you've got two more survivors, right? One lad's going on. Then next thing you know, he gets beheaded. And the doom, spoilers, so be warned, and the movie stout. One, two, three, four, five. The doom what warned them, she got possessed by evil Indian spirit and she beheaded her boyfriend. That's what I mean, it's all like the hills of eyes and how they shoot the desert, but it's also like the evil dead. They all get possessed by these evil Indian spirits. And... The professor comes into it, right, halfway through the film, he comes into it, I know he's at the end of the film, he sees the out socks of all of the students who have been murdered. 
he gets an arrow in the eyeball, brown bread. Then she, the possessed girl, tapping on these pieces of wood. End of movie. It's one of these, I mean, I'm not really looking for movies with downbeat endings, but the characters, you know, they're there, the pedophile, there's a bit of the acting's a bit shit. That's a bit where one girl's having a go at a mate, and she's both the puss, so you can see she threw herself on the floor, making it look like she's been pussed. So she's been pussed, and Mary fucking Poppins. And so the acting's a bit near in little parts and places but if you like old school sort of horror movie people being possessed by evil indian spirits and look a bit of blood in door then it's the movie for you if you like the evil dead it's definitely the movie for you because it does have that evil dead sort of vibe to it and the way it's shot in the desert there are some bits where the music it can be cheapy when it wants to be so stouts like i say come out in 1983 and I'd say it's a good hour of your time. It's not a movie, what you call it, it's not exactly a tassic. It's not as memorable as as the Evil Dead, but it does have its moments, like I say. Sadly to say it was cut down, and the only way you can get it now is in the uncut bits. Um, if I remember right, like I could say, the Spice Team some old video where the video's a bit faded, but it's watchable. It's you no, know, it's watchable. That's my leg, but yeah, it's it's watchable. But it, it's not a bad one, you know what I mean? There are some good bits in it. I love the bit of the eagles following the tuck. You do see the after shot of the die at the opening, the one what slit his throat. And as I say, it's to do with his evil Indian spirits, his old Indian warned up, I've been barking. This old Indian die warned up, not to go there, but it does, like I say, the da da, the ignoring, the dig for them rules, so on their head, be it. And that's what I mean, it's like a, it's not like your typical old school on a movie back in the early 80s. Now, I do know in the ending of Stout. At the ending, it does that next summer, Stout do. But like most movies, there was going to be a Stout too. But sadly to say, we never got to start to look to your seeing Stout too. And it's the same in one way. It's the same because I'd love to have seen what a sequel or a second one would have been. And actually, it would have been different characters because as a downbeat ending, they all get fucking killed. But it's one of them I would have been interested to see what would happen if they made, let's say, a utility of stouts. But sad to say, it wasn't as successful as they thought it was going to be. Like most other movies that were going on, there was going to be the stairs on a movie ever made. But like most other movies back then, is it really the stairs on a movie? But you know what I mean? Like I say, the acting's. A little bit wooden in parts. You could never do it cheap. But saying that, I do love the way they shoot the desert. It's very well shot. I love the bits where you've got tarantulas and spikers and eagles. I even like the artwork that was used for stouts. So the marketing tool. But yeah, stouts, again, shot in 1983. You can, you can find it on YouTube. If you've got it on YouTube, it's worth watching. You can, I think... I think right there, originally found it on YouTube and it's uncut sat. And it's a good hour of your time. But into them people, be smart, be safe. But I'm talking more on in movies and more of the on in Maddenford. If you like me a wire shirt, let me know. Um, if there's anything you like me to, to talk about, let me know. Or a nice matic thumbs up or an extra sub would be beautiful. But into them, be smart, be safe. I'll give it a three star rating because I like the desert. But into them. See you later.